Hi guys, I'm Sandra. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly create thumbnails for your YouTube videos using a free platform. Your thumbnail is one of the most important factors to actually get people to click and watch your video. Doesn't matter how good your video is if no one is clicking on it, right? If you're excited, give this video a like and let's get started. Before I hop right into the tutorial, I want to give some top tips to keep in mind when you're creating your thumbnail. First tip is you want to aim for maximum three elements within your thumbnail. So for example, if you're going to have an image of yourself, that would be an element. If you're going to have some text, that would be the second element. And then if you have like maybe a logo or um, like a image or something like that, then that would be the third element. The reason for this is because if you put too many elements in your thumbnail, it's going to look too cluttered and overwhelming. Second tip is to aim for maximum three to five words in your thumbnail. If you're using text, you don't even have to add text to your thumbnail to be honest, but if you are maximum three to five words, the reason for this is you have to keep in mind that most people that are looking to watch a YouTube video are scrolling through their phone and and the words are quite small. Usually you're designing your thumbnail on your desktop and the thumbnail looks quite large, but then when you shrink it to like a phone size, it's harder to read. So you want to keep your text bold and minimize the amount of text you actually use. Third tip is if you are adding text to your thumbnail, try not to match it exactly to your title words. It's kind of a waste of real estate on your thumbnail if you're just copying and pasting your title and just putting it directly on your thumbnail. You want to think of a clever way that's going to get people to click. So you do want it to be a little bit more clickbait, but you also want to deliver in your video. And then finally, my fourth tip to keep in mind is if you're having text or some really important information on your thumbnail, you want to put it on the left side or maybe in the middle at the top somewhere, because keep in mind that there is a timestamp that YouTube videos will have, and that's at the bottom right. And that tends to block some elements on your thumbnail. So just keep that in mind when you're designing it. Okay, without further ado, let's hop onto my computer and design a thumbnail from scratch. We're going to use Canva to design the thumbnail today because it's a free tool and it's really easy to use. Now, if you do want to use some of their pro features, I do have a 30 day free trial link in the description box below. So Canva actually has a lot of templates that you can use if you don't want to start from scratch. Just go to the search bar and type in YouTube thumbnail and you can browse through all their available templates. A lot of them are actually really good. They've got some bold text. They've got really um, fun colors and then some images that you can swap out for your own images. Very, very easy to use, but I like to personally create them from scratch. So if you do want to use one of these templates, you just have to click on one and then start editing it from there. But if you're like me and you want to start it from scratch, just go to the top right and click on create a design, go to custom size, and then keep this at pixels. We're going to create a 1920 by 1080 artboard, which are the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail. So just go to create new design. So if you're including a photo of yourself in the thumbnail, then just make sure that that you take a bunch of photos of yourself ahead of time. What I usually do is set a timer on my phone or my camera to maybe two to five seconds. And I'll take about five to 10 photos of myself. And then I will pick my favorite one in the very end. If you don't want to include a photo of yourself, that's totally fine. You can get free stock images from places like Pexels and Pixabay. So once you've taken a photo of yourself or you've downloaded a stock photo, Go into uploads right over here and click on upload files. It will allow you to upload any files from your computer here. So I've already done that. This is the photo that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to click on it and it's just going to show up on my artboard. So I'm just going to drag it and fit it in the screen how I like. Now, another pro tip is I like to strike poses of me showing what I'm actually going to teach in the video. So for example, this video, I want to show how to film videos with your phone. So I actually show myself doing that. Okay, next I'm going to go into elements and I'm just going to type in at the top here, blue gradient. So all of the elements that have that crown at the bottom right, those are pro features. So a lot of them don't have that. You can use them in the free version. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'll use this one here. So I'm just going to rotate it and I'll bring it right over here because I want to add in some text and I really want it to stand out against this uh, blue background. All right, let's add some text. So go into text right here and then click on add a heading. So you could just type in some words that you want to include in your font. Just drag it over here. And if you want to change the font, just go up to the top right here and you can choose any of the fonts that Canva offers. 
So I like to pick like a bold font and let's make this larger. If you wanna change the size, you can either drag or go to the top here and just choose your size. Okay, and I'm just going to bring the spacing a little bit closer. So I'm gonna go up here to spacing, just change the line spacing a little bit, just to bring uh, the words a little bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna change the color at the top here just to make it pop a little more against the blue background. And then I'll go to effects and I'm gonna use shadow. I'll change the shadow color to a black and I'll actually offset that just a little bit more. Let's actually drag it all the way to 100. That looks good. So I'm just gonna add in some more text right here and I'm gonna use a different font for this one. So let's make that larger and let's put it in italics. Okay, so I'm going to add shadow to this one as well and I'm going to change the color to a black because I'm going to put like a white rectangle behind it to make it pop a little more. So let's go into elements and just go under lines and shapes and click on this rectangle. So I'm just going to bring it right over here and we'll make that white. Okay, so finally I want to add YouTube's logo. So back into elements, I'm just going to put in YouTube. And once again, you'll see a lot of elements that don't have the crown at the bottom right. So a lot of these are free features. This one has a crown, so I am actually going to use the pro feature for this one. But again, you can use any of the free elements. So I'm just gonna bring it right here. Now, if I want to make sure that everything is centered with the text and the logo, all I have to do is just drag my cursor along the text and the logo, and then go to the three dots, position, center. Now everything is centered perfectly. So I'm just gonna bring everything a little bit up here. All right, I'm happy with that. Now my last step is just to go to the share button at the top right, go to download, and then just select JPEG. If you do have the pro feature, you can actually increase the quality. If not, you can just leave it as is and then just hit download and you're done. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful and what else you'd like me to cover in future tutorials. Make sure to grab my free four-step YouTube growth blueprint. I will link that for you in the description box below. Now, if you're in the middle of learning how to edit your own YouTube videos and you like these quick and easy tutorials, I show you how to edit your videos using iMovie. You can watch this video next. I show you all the basics of iMovie and tips and tricks along the way. So I'll see you there.